Okay, so this is the exercise three walkthrough. And again, we're just going to start off by putting ourselves in the construction layer and just checking our units. Next thing we're going to do, put our X line, starting from the zero, zero point, one coming up, one coming across. And then straight into using the offset tool. So I can start to map out the widths that I'm going to need. So next is 20, which is going on on the bottom edge. Then we're coming across 34. And these are all in millimeters. And we're coming back on 20 again, like so. And then we're coming up 54. 16, 20, and lastly 16 again. So I'm just escape spacing just to reload the command that I'm using. So I'm just going to make this one sit over. Like so, so you can just see it. So I've got a 20 diameter, which is 21 by 37. So I'm just going to use my vision offset 21, 37, and 21, 37. So is it that one and that one. I'm just going to change the color to make it nice and straightforward. Come in, drawing, put in my circle, which is R10, like so. Next up, I'm just going to do some lines. So I'm just coming around my snap points on the grid. I'm just basically putting everything I can see at this stage. Okay, so that's, that's the top section here, here, and here, and then we need to do the bottom one. So the bottom one's now, because I've got a center line, I can offset 20. I can just gonna use this blue line to run um, the top of the dovetail. And this one is 26, so. You've got 26 by by 2. I've got the center line first, which means offset 10. And then uh, 26 divided by 2, do both sides. And again, just going to pop them in those colors, it's nice and easy to see. I'm just going to draw those hidden detail across. Like so. Okay, now we can turn it off. Okay, we turn our vision off. You have that nice kind of featured view, nice and straightforward to see. Okay, that's our top view done. So now I'm just going to offset and to look at our front view, which is 51. So I'm going to offset by 51 and 51. And I'll do 51 across. And then we've got 54, 16, 20. 16. So now we have a 26 on the front, and then we have a 16 coming down off of that one, and that's the full height apart from the 10 on the top. So again, I'm just going to come in and draw first so I can equal out what I can see. So 
come up over the hole. This one here is the top. Okay, now I just need to bridge out the 34. So again, offset 34 backslash 2. Offset 20. Now, what I could have done this stage is actually match out. I just needed to turn my vision lines back on. Um, and that would have been fine. So now I'm just going to come in and draw that to there. Put my dovetail in. Like so. And then I've just got a hidden line for the top dovetail because we can't see it. And now we're just going to map across the hole. And again, the hidden detail. It won't go f all the way through because it's obviously got the dovetail it stops at. So now it's just doing the last side. Coming around like so. Okay, I've got 25, so I need to do um, offset at 10. Get the middle and then twenty five divided by two like so. So now I draw on this one. There's that component there. Let me obviously put the hole in. So again, it's twenty one across at this stage. At twenty one, and again, I can do a straight copy. Like so. Now this one also will actually go through the whole. You can show it going through the whole lot because the wall is thicker. Even doesn't technically go through because it sits in between the dovetail. So the last thing to do, I've got a fillet of R12. So I'm going to use a fillet tool to fill it. I've got to put the radius in. So I would click or press R12, and I'm going to choose the two lines, the one line, two line, like so. That'll give us the radius. The other way you could do it, if you don't want to do it that way. So if I go back to where I had it, what you could also do is just offset 12, so take 12 on that line, 12 on this line, put a circle in from that centre point of 12, and then you just trim. Trim out like that, and that's no way you can get the same, the same arc. But the fillet tool is kind of there to be used a lot quicker. So that's new. Just turn off any of these lines, and then let's just use the trim tool. Trim out that center line. Trim out that one. And there's our next exercise complete. Again, make sure you save, and then obviously then we go on and do some annotations. So that's how we do this exercise free.